What is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with some brand new WWE action figure news and it is not in the same light that we have seen over the past few weeks as you guys know we're just out of San Diego Comic Con where the news was over and over and over and hitting and there was a bunch of announcements there was a lot of new figures talked about we got to see a ton of things on display it was a whole weekend right it was a whole entire movie of course with all the news that was coming out there and not even just WWE but also AEW and Jazzwares but today we're going to be on the other side of things and also, my interview with Mattel should go up in the next couple days. I noticed when editing that the audio was cutting in and out sometimes, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm exactly going to do about that. So I do apologize on the wait for that. That is the reasoning behind the delay on that interview. Hopefully, I can get that out in the next couple of days. But until we get that interview out there, I did want to talk about that for just a moment there at the beginning of the video. But today, we do have some brand new news. And all of this news today is in regards to the new Then Now Forever 60th Anniversary 4-Pack, the Elite set. We did see it during San Diego Comic Con weekend. It was there on display. We talked about it, of course, and then it was legit like the same day that it was shown off. I think it was like the day after it was shown off or the day of it being shown off. It was appearing at people's targets. People were actually finding the figure set on target shelves when they were going to their stores, and it was talked about, and everybody was freaking out about it, and then the Legends figures were also hitting, so it was a bunch of stuff hitting at once, and then I actually went to my target, found the box set, found the Legends, found the Target exclusive Adam Cole, and then I told you guys about it in the review. So we've actually already reviewed this four pack. We've talked about it on the channel already and it's pretty interesting about the news that we have today. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. If you guys already have this set, well then you're in the clear. But this set has apparently been recalled. Yes, this set is recalled. So the figures that are actually out on your shelf. So if you go to Target and you see this figure set on the shelves and there's a, there's a couple differences between the packaging which I'll get into and all those things. But So apparently this Then Now Forever set together is supposed to have have like the Elite Collection logo on there and then they also have a version with the 60th anniversary logo instead of like that main WWE logo. I'll show you guys the differences between the two. So the top version is what we got and the bottom is what we were supposed to get apparently and so it was announced that this pack was recalled and everybody was like what the hell is this what's going on so people took to the forums here somebody asked Steve they said hey Steve not sure if you have the answer but I'm sure it's being discussed around the company any word on the reasoning behind the recall on the Target TNFT four pack TNFT kind of reminds me of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles but it is then now forever together four pack is what that stands for there but he does reply and he says hang tight you'll be able to purchase these figs very soon so what I'm guessing is so you, if you're wondering you're like what do you mean purchase these very soon are they taking them off the shelves well kind of but not exactly because people are actually going into their target stores and still finding the 60th anniversary I want to say my target actually has one of these but a huge shout out to Fig Vault on Instagram because he actually shared his personal story here and I want to read that as well so we do have this pulled up he says well I heard the rumors and found one of these four packs at my local target it's scanned find on price checker when I took it to check out it prompted a team member it said do not sell on the screen I told them it's scanned find on the price check the team member tried to override it and it wouldn't let him because it's being recalled so I can personally confirm that as for the rumor that it's because Vince didn't approve the packaging, LOL, I don't think Vince is approving action figure packaging, but hey, what do I know? And apparently there was some rumor that Vin Vince McMahon himself didn't want the pack being out there, something up with the packaging or something like that, which is completely irrational. I don't see Vince McMahon. He's got way bigger fish to fry than a four-pack with action figures, you know what I'm saying? Now, if it had been like a limo exploding playset or something insane like that with Vince McMahon, I might would believe that, you know, you get you know his big head and stuff like that you might see that happen I could definitely I would probably buy that rumor but being a random four pack at Target I don't know if I really buy that you know what I'm saying and I'm not smelling what you're stepping in with that one but this is very interesting so this pack is recalled now you're probably wondering you know if you have this version with the 60th anniversary now I have the box I still have the box and I now I wish that I would have bought two of the sets I found like two or three of these sets on Target shelves now I kind of wish that I bought all of them but this pack's like 80 or 90 bucks and I think I told you guys in the review that you needed to skip out on this pack. Now, that's not going to change. Now, if you could somehow buy the rarer package version of this this variant, if you will, because apparently, I mean, I guess in the future, this thing may be worth something. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not one to really collect some mint on card and just hold on to it just for value's sake, just because, you know, that's not really going to work out for you in the long run, probably, to, you know, just save up a retirement check 
with your action figure collection with all the moving parts that's required for something like that. But now I low-key, I'm, I'm a little sour, you know, I'm a little FOMO there for not uh, grabbing a second set. But I do have the box, which I think is cool. At least I have the box that's empty or whatever. But I did say pass on this set. I thought this set, you know, being at the price point that it's at, and if you guys want to see my in-depth thoughts and review of this figure set and like breaking down each figure and all those things, definitely go check it out on the channel. Of course, we did already cover this in a full video, did a full review on it. And I didn't really care for the pack that much. I felt like there was a lot to, left to be desired. I didn't really care for a lot of the figures there. The figure I was most excited for was the Stone Cold Steve Austin, and it really disappointed me. It really let me down. And so, um, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't pay full price for this set. Now that it has the element of rareness, it's like, you know, I, I don't even know what to say about that. You know, I'm, if you have it, mint on card in the 60th box set, like you already have the old version that got recalled, and you already have it mint on card. I just say, hold on to it mint on card, man. You might as well just save it for a rainy day and then pick up the other figures in the aftermarket or something like that if you want them loose or what have you. But apparently, the top version of this set in this photo is the version that will be pushed out soon. So I'm guessing they're going to take back the, the versions with the 60th anniversary and then they're going to push out this one. Now, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if there was some like art on the back of the box. I don't know if it was more of like, I, I have no idea. Was it the 60th logo? Like, because be because they removed the 60 logo and then it has like then now forever on it. I don't know if um, like on the on the one version, it says then now forever together. And then on the other version, it's WWE 60th anniversary or something like that. So I don't know why that would be such a big deal. You know, it's not like there was some profanity or something like that on the box, at least not to my knowledge, there wasn't any. So I don't know why they would recall it. I don't even know who makes that call. You know, I, I, it's definitely not Vince McMahon, or at least I don't think so. I guess if, if I'm wrong about that, I'll eat the crow later. But I don't think Vince McMahon saw this box set and said, you know what, Brad, get that off the shelf. What the hell is that? So I don't know why this set would be recalled. It's very odd. I don't know the reasoning behind it. And they didn't really give us a good answer, right? It was just, don't worry, you'll be able to buy these soon, which I get. I guess maybe they can't really disclose that. If I could somehow gather any information on that, I will definitely let you guys know. But it's a very interesting style of, of things going on because this doesn't happen very often, right? We don't see things being recalled like that. Now, we may see a figure get canceled, such as Macho Man. We've seen Macho Man canceled. We've seen the RVD Chase get canceled. We've seen Chief J Strongbow get canceled. So we've seen figures get canceled, but to actually have a figure go out on the shelf and then be recalled, that hasn't happened in a while. At least I don't think so. The only one that really comes to mind is like Elite One Jeff Hardy, right? That's like the only one that I can think of that made it out. A few of them made it out, and then they got it recalled there. But I mean, you're looking at what? Something that happened like 13, 14 years ago. So I don't really know the, the the, the status on all of these things, but maybe some maybe somebody down in the comment section below can tell me the last time that a figure set was actually recalled from the shelves there. But it's it's a, like at least from from where we're looking at, from our perspective, it looks like a very minuscule thing. I don't know why just a little 60 logo would cause a complete recall or like the wording on the packaging. And maybe is it even the 60th anniversary? Maybe that that maybe that's why. Maybe it wasn't quite 60 years, and it's the that's why they took it back. I don't know. I don't know if I can gather more information on it. I will definitely let you guys know, but just know if you go to your Target and you actually try to purchase this set, probably not going to work out for you. I mean, I guess you can go try and see if they'll override it or something like that, but I don't know. The way Target workers are, man, they're pretty... They're pretty on the nose about doing the right things and everything like that. And they're very helpful. Every time I've asked a Target employee, they actually help me out pretty well. So I guess that's just uh, depends on your experience level and where the hell you are and stuff like that. But I don't know if you're going to be able to get out of the store with this figure set. And I don't think there's another box set up there. If there was another box set up there and, you know, you would scan that one and walk out with that one, which I know you can also get in trouble for. So I don't know, man. I would just buy it on the aftermarket. Buy it on the aftermarket. Don't worry. I mean, you're, you're welcome to try and get this set at Target, you know try to go scan it and see what happens but if I'm there later this week or something like that I'll go on a toy hunt and if I find one of these box sets I may go out and try it just to see what happens but I don't know if we're, you're gonna have any luck man if you went super early in the morning or super late at night you might find a worker that's you know what just like you know what man whatever punches it in but apparently it wouldn't even let him override it so I don't I don't know about all those things man we will have to see but nonetheless that is all the news that we have man the recalled then now forever set do you guys already have this set did you pass on this set Are you wait to get the figures on the aftermarket what what is the case, man? I would love to know down in the comment section below. But at the end of the day, this set being recalled, I mean, I, I still am not a big fan of the set. It doesn't matter how rare it is, Brad. I didn't really care for the set when I had it in hand. I guess Men on Card, it gets the job done. It's kind of a cool set, Men on Card. The box is really cool. It's like reflective and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. Anyways, that is going to wrap up today's news video. I know it's a very odd one, something very odd. We don't see very often. So I was, I definitely wanted to make a video on it because this is such a, a rare occasion. At least it seems like it to me. I wanted to talk about it. So I want to get on here and discuss it. But you guys can let 
me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, man, huge shout out to the patron members of the MDT Patreon. We are giving away an Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes in the shipper box for our giveaway for the month of August. So definitely get in on that, man. If you guys are interested in that. But I appreciate all of my patron members. You guys are the absolute best. But that is going to wrap the video up, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I appreciate you guys. I'm getting out of here. See you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.